For too long, gamers' minds have been plagued by one unanswerable question. Who is the worst developer in the world? Well, rest easy tonight, my sweet children, because I will be answering this once and for all using science, data, and my opinion, which is going to be stated as a fact. So this is your warning now. If you're allergic to the truth, you're not welcome here. But for those of you that want to have your third eye open, please join me and sit on my lap as I give you the forbidden fruit of knowledge. Now let's tackle this riddle. The correct answer to the question, who is the worst game developer, is 343 Industries. Now before you throw your arms up in the air and start spitting and shitting in anger, let me explain. I'm only talking about AAA game devs. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of terrible indie devs that have made horrible things or have done horrible things. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm focusing on AAA big budget studios. I also want to explain that I'm only talking about the quality of the games they produce and not the actual workplace environment. Because if we were talking about that, then obviously there's been like sexual assaults and a ton of different awful things at other studios. So I just wanted to make that clear. Now let's pour some sauce on this spaghetti. I'm going to show you a quick clip from one of my recent streams where I was ranting about 343 because they recently published their roadmap for Halo Infinite and it's laughable. For those that don't know, Halo Infinite is 343's recent release and it has been just a complete catastrophe, just an absolute disaster. It's a good game gameplay wise and the campaign's pretty fun, there's good ideas there, but unfortunately this thing launched without any content at all. They fucking threw this thing out there naked. It was so barren when it came to content, but the community was under the impression that they would be adding content to the game as it continued to exist. But they really haven't. They've barely even been drip feeding this thing to keep it on life support. It's not enough. It's it's fucking flatlining. They, like, they, it's dying of thirst and 343 can't even piss in its mouth. Then they've only added two maps in almost an entire year. This game came out November 15th of 2021 and they've only added two maps since then and no other big meaningful updates. It's, it's fucking crazy and this is also the only Halo game that's touted as a fucking live service game and they have no service for it. I'm already getting a little shaken and stirred here just discussing it. But anyway, they posted their roadmap. It's bad. Seeing that Halo Infinite canceled. Oh, I actually wanted to talk about that. Thank you for reminding me. But yeah, this was so embarrassing. So I talked about it on stream a little bit, but Halo Infinite posted their roadmap. They, ex they extended Season 2 to 10 months now. Forge Beta is coming later this year. Uh, co-op campaign testing later this year too, but overall, super underwhelming. A lot of people really very disappointed with 343 as per usual. But one thing they announced is that they fully canceled split screen. <laughs> they they just they said uh uh, it, it's a it, we're done, we're throwing that shit in the toilet and flushing it. No more split screen. So then on Twitter, I don't remember who it was, but one of the bigger accounts was like. Actually, split screen is totally fine. In fact, we're having it working right now. And they posted a video of them glitching split screen into the game. So they were successfully able to just implement split screen themselves through a glitch. And it even works. Not even just two player split screen, four player. Hold on, let me pull up the clip. So 343 apparently couldn't quite crack the code on making split screen work. Meanwhile, just... <laughs> Fucking rock hard dicked gamers on Twitter were able to immediately figure it out only hours after their announcement through glitching. Yeah, here we go. Here, Mint Blitz, Mint Blitz even talked about it. Quite the development has occurred. 343 has cut official Halo Infinite split screen co op. However, with the use of a glitch, you can actually get into the. Isn't that fucking crazy? Now is a guide. Half a billion dollars in the Halo Infinite. And 343 fumbles it extraordinarily. They didn't even launch the game with, like, any content, unfortunately. And it has been over a year and still ha well, it hasn't been a full year yet, but it's coming up. And still has barely any fucking content. And now they cancel one of the most basic features that games have had for the last 25 years. Though split screen's been phased out for most major games just because they don't bother. Because most people don't do couch co-op. But it's still like a really easy feature to implement, I imagine. Because it's been there for so long. And they just, they, they cancel it inexplicably, I'm guessing due to ineptitude. And the community figures out a way to do it themselves. Like, how is that not super embarrassing? They have this and then it takes them six months just to make two maps. Oh my god, yeah, made directly in Forge. 
Meanwhile, the community already made a one-to-one -one creation of Guardian and Reflection in less than a week. I know, man. It's so sad. I don't know what they do. Like, I don't know what they do for the last, like, eight fucking months just sitting around doing, like, nothing. They just go to the office and, like, hang out and then go home. Content creators are giving up on Halo now. My feed is spammed by Halo is dead videos. Yeah, I mean, this was really the nail in the coffin. They absolutely needed that roadmap to bang. They needed to show that they've actually been doing things for the game for the last eight months, and they didn't. The only thing that even has the remote possibility of bringing Halo any sort of relevancy again is their Forge mode. Because their Forge mode is outrageous. Like, the amount of shit you can do in Forge is stunning. That is the only hope that game has. I really think that it's inarguable that 343 has killed the Halo franchise. It has absolutely no relevancy anymore. It has fully fallen off, which is crazy because for the entire early 2000s, all the way up until like 2012, Halo was one of the most revered, one of the most popular franchises in all of gaming. It was extremely recognizable. Even people that didn't play games at all knew Halo. It was huge. It seemed like it was an unstoppable force, and it was extremely influential for FPS games. But then the second Bungie passed the torch to 343, they put that torch right in their fucking asshole and extinguished the flame. Halo 4 launched to pretty mediocre success. It, like, I recently replayed it, and the campaign's pretty solid, but the multiplayer sucks. Halo 5 was a complete disaster, where the campaign was the worst in the entire franchise, and the multiplayer was okay. And then they also had the Master Chief Collection, which was legitimately broken for five years before they finally fixed it. And now Halo Infinite, and you know how that story's going. It's just sad that they've let the game wither and die like this, and the only hope it has is Forge, which does look amazing. But outside of that, there's nothing to look forward to with this game. It seems like they don't know what they're doing, they don't know what direction to go, they don't know what the players want. They even had like a big focus on their, their store for a little while there instead of the actual game. Now I've seen a lot of copium of just be patient, they're doing their best, you know. This is unreasonable to expect them to do so much for this game, even though it's already been out. And that's such a fucking brain dead take. This game launched in a very content dry state. They released this game half finished basically in terms of its content. They just tried to pump it out as quickly as possible and then hoping they could patch it up later and add what they wanted to initially. That's not, like, an excuse. It doesn't work. Like, oh, you know, just be patient, it's coming. Well, it should have been there to start. They should have had all of this already there and ready. And now are just taking their victory lap, adding more cosmetics or adding more maps, you know? Same thing Halo has always done, where they add more maps and more things down the line, but you got the complete package off rip. That wasn't the case here. We never got the complete package, and we still, 305 days later, have not gotten the complete package. So you can't really just write it off as like, hey, stop being so impatient. It's not impatience, it's just inexcusable. It's 343 not being able to follow through and deliver on the things that they said they would be able to. You know, it's a load of fish paste and super disingenuous to just blame the player base for being upset about how empty their game is. You know, they're totally justified in feeling like their game is hollow and abandoned. 343 has been unable to communicate and deliver. At least they finally published the roadmap, but it's just not satisfactory. I saw a post on Reddit that puts it into perspective pretty well. In Halo 2's history, we're going to go back in time. Halo 2 launched. It was a great game. One of my top five of all time. A complete game. It wasn't missing anything or anything like that. But then 238 days later, they released the multiplayer map pack, which brought nine new maps to the game. 238 days after the launch of Halo 2, they introduced nine new maps with their multiplayer map pack. Halo Infinite has been out for 307 days, and they've brought two new maps. So it's been out longer, and they've released less maps than Halo 2, yet somehow Halo Infinite is the first live service Halo game. What a joke. It's almost like they called it that ironically, like they were just giggling behind the scenes like, <laughs> you know, we're going to call it live service, but we're really not going to do shit on it. It's just like, you know, getting real silly with it and laughing at the community. I don't know, man. It's just so disappointing. And it's, it's why I think 343 is the worst developer out there right now. They took what used to be a household name, Halo, and ran it into the ground. Like, they buried it. I don't know how Halo comes back from this. Forge is really its only chance. And even then, I'm not convinced people are going to flock back to Halo for Forge. But who knows, it is very impressive what it seems like they're doing with Forge, if it ever even comes out. You know, there's a good chance they might even delay it. I, I, I don't even believe their roadmap. They might just push it to 2023, there's no telling. But anyway, that's about it. See ya.